So what we're going to talk about here is uh, Google Plus events and how you, how you can create an event. As you can see, I've got a few events, some created by other people that I'm attending, okay, um, and some are just the te test run ones. So I'm going to create, the first thing I'm going to do is explain to you, there's, there's Hangouts and then there's events, okay. Uh, a Hangout is where you uh, hang out with a group of people on, online and do a video call, okay. An event is usually, not always, but usually an event that you have, like it's an event for the future. That, um, like, for instance, you've got a, you're doing a talk at a seminar or you, you've, got a, you've, you've got a show on somewhere, um, and that's when you'll create an event. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to create an event. So you click on here, and the first thing I do always is go to Event Options, Advanced, Okay. Show more options, okay? Now, if, you, if your event is just a Hangout and it's an online event only, you just click Hangout online. But there's a few different iterations of that, so you've got to be a bit careful. But let's just concentrate on just a standard event. So what you can do is you can change your theme, okay? And you can choose your own photos from your own library, or you can choose a bunch of different photos. Now, it does accept GIF, so you can actually have actual animations, as you can see, there's some of these are actually animations, but they have to, all your images, if you, if you select from your photos, it will only allow you to select, um, it will only allow you to select photos that are a, of a certain size, okay? And so that one is allowed, okay? If I go back and I go to um, some other ones, you'll notice that you, you, you won't be able to do do certain ones, you know, because they're not big enough. Okay, but let's get back here, and you just choose what type of image you want. I'm going to start with this one with a little birthday cake. I'll set the theme, so now that's sitting there in the theme, and you can you can cycle through the different themes there as well. So you give it a title, you set a date and add an end time, and very importantly, you select the the time zone that you're in. Okay, everyone, depending on what time zone they're, they're set to, um, will see a different time, but if, especially if it's an online event or something like that. But set the time, date and time, date from and to. Okay, you can use the picker for that. And then the location. Now, it will search Google Maps. So if you're a business, for instance, um, you can just select that and it will automatically map it. Okay. Put in the details, which is a description of the event. Does the event have a website? Is there a URL? Like, is it not just, for instance, yakadanda.com, but is it yakadanda.com forward slash event forward slash the name? Is it a post or a page? It could be anything. Is there a place where they can purchase tickets? Is there, is it, is there, are there tickets for sale? And you want to put the details of pricing in there as well. Okay. A YouTube URL, you can do a preview of YouTube video and, and stick that in there and that will actually come up on the event page. And transit and parking information. Then once you've done that, you select who you want to be able to, to see it. Now you can invite people by email address or you can just go public. If you go public, you can share that URL with anybody. Okay? Alright, so you can actually select your circles, you can select... Um, you know, if you've, if you've set up your circles well or your, uh, your contacts list well enough, you'll, you'll actually be able to select from that very easily. And then what you do is you invite people and it, and it creates an event page. So I'm going to give you an example of one for, for this Saturday, which is our little tennis group. So we have um, just created this today. It's a private event because it's, it's not a public one and I've just invited a certain group of people, okay? And usually we get 10 or 12 to it. So you see the title. If I had a video, the video would appear here. Okay? The video would appear there. Okay? And then you have that, the information. So it's basically got all the information, the, the location information, the description, who's invited, who said yes, who said no, who said maybe. Okay? So that's basically how you create a standard event. Okay? In the next video, we're going to show you how to create a, a, a hangout event.